A highway patrol is trying to end the 100 deadliest days on a high note, cracking down on dangerous behaviors out on the roads in Utah County today specifically. Uh, the safe driving blitz resulted in about 250 stops, most of them for speeding. UHP motor officers pulling over 208 speeders. They also caught 21 drivers not wearing seatbelts, nine drivers texting or otherwise driving recklessly. Uh, the troopers say the goal was really to... Uh, of these enforcement blitzes was to change the bad habits and potentially save lives. I mean, it, it could be a deadly machine, right? It's, it's 4,000 plus pounds. Um, it's going 80 miles an hour. You need to be in control of that machine 100%. Professional race car drivers know a thing or two about managing a car and doing it safely. At their speeds, their lives depend on it. Their advice is good for all of us, especially those of us who think we're race car drivers or drive like it yeah, on the it, road to zero fatalities. It doesn't mean go faster either. A case on new specialist Shelby Lofton caught a ride with them and she shows us the tools that we can take from the track to the streets. Before these drivers ever hit the track, they are following a safety checklist and they'll be the first to tell you that driving is not a right. It's a privilege. All right. You ready? I'm ready. These professional race car drivers will tell you they're happiest behind the wheel. It's better than any drug you could ever take. There's a lot of steps they take before the wave of the flag. I walk around and I make sure the tires aren't flat and I make sure it's not dripping fluid. Ariton Littell all good. takes vehicle maintenance seriously. And the first thing I'm checking is if I have proper clutch application, brake. He says you can never check your mirrors, seat, and steering enough. If I can extend my arm and rest my wrist on the top of the steering wheel, that tells me that my elbow is going to be bent to a point to where if I do have to have fast hands and I do have to correct myself, I'm able to accurately articulate the wheel quickly. With his seatbelt and helmet on, he places his hands at nine and three. Before his foot hits the gas, his eyes are staring straight ahead. I can see what people before they do it. I know what's going on. It's almost like a chessboard. These drivers say zigzagging around this track at high speeds is safer than driving on Utah roads. We're more in tune with what the car is going to do. Race car driver rule number one, be aware of everything happening around you. If you're not really paying attention to what's in front of you, you know, past your hood, that's when, when accidents happen, like you'll see pileups on the freeway and stuff. Jordan Priestley yeah. says drivers need to give themselves time to react, not panic. Let's say you get into a hydroplane situation. Most people want to panic and slam on the brakes and, you know, they start flailing and turning the wheel. When we get into those situations, we just lightly let off the accelerator and let the car kind of roll and do its thing. At Utah Motorsports Campus, good habits are taught right out of the gate. Even though we're going way faster, everything slows down. Latell is an instructor for the teen driver's course. He teaches beginners to respect the road and appreciate what the machine they're driving can do. With the experience I have, I try to lead by example and be the pinnacle of what I teach. They test the limits on the track, but beyond the trophies and championships, they're most proud of teaching young drivers how to safely get from point A to point B. The road is not yours. The road belongs to all of us. Utah Motorsports Campus teen driving course will start later this fall. The instructor's goal is to get those beginner drivers comfortable on the track so they can be ready for anything on the road. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.